Hi, are you thinking about having liposuction or tummy tuck or maybe cool sculpting, even a non-invasive procedure? Are you within your ideal body weight and you just have resistant area to get treated? Or you have a lot of weight to drop and you think that um, liposuction or cool sculpting or tummy tuck is the answer? I wanna let you know that it may not be the right thing for you. Did you know that your fat cells are part of your endocrine system and they affect your hormones? So unless you're within the right parameter and only have a little bit of fat to lose, you could be causing a lot of damage to your body. You could be causing, you could be wreaking havoc on your hormones for a lifetime. So maybe you've already had liposuction or cool sculpting and you've had a lot of it and you find that you're, here you are in life, you know, trying to do all the right things, but you find that you're really hungry and it doesn't matter what you do, you can't keep the weight down. And well, these are all symptoms of leptin resistance and your adiponectin levels are low. Are you aware of that? Has your doctor or anyone else talked to you about how the fat cells are part of the endocrine system? So this is really important. I actually have a solution for how you can help this. I actually have a supplement, believe it or not. So if you're interested in learning more, I can help you. And why do I care about this? Well, for many years I did uh, cool sculpting and I was very protective of not over treating anyone because I wanted to protect the hormones. I knew that it was very important that you did not take away too many fat cells because it's part of the endocrine system. So here I am years later, and I've done about, well, I've done over 6,000 cycles of cool sculpting. So that's why I know this. So it's really important. If you want more information, I'm here to help you. Let me know if I can help you and stay tuned. I'll be putting more up about this.